This is my Wave Runner custom Mark III bait boat. I've taken the electronics and um, all the gubbins, motherboard, original motherboard, out of it because it it blew up. Replaced it all with my own custom electronics, which I'd used on my glider, uh, but thought it would be a lot more advanced than the bait boat. I'll turn on the handset. Obviously the handset speaks to you. You can turn all the volume up and down on this on this pot con pot, con pot controller. I'll turn the boat boat on now. As you as you can see, I've modified the back LED uh, to have a, a a proper LED display in there, telling you the actual battery voltage. This voltage is actually on the handset here, as you can see. We're, Always, always telling you how much battery voltage you got, so you know exactly when to bring it back. I've modified all the the LEDs, so they're uprated LEDs. Uh, these are all switchable again from the handset. Navigation lights off. Navigation lights on. I'll be adding the spotlight very, very soon. Spotlight on. Spotlight off. I've got all the, the bait droppers on on this side. Hold it to the left for three seconds. Right bait hopper dropped. And it, it drops the bait hopper, flashes the flashes the LEDs. It's not you haven't had the hopper sound drop because I've got them open at the moment. Hold right it to the left. Bait hopper dropped. Um, the boat is fully GPS controlled via mapping software. Uh, you can get on an Android app. I'm working on how to fit, to get to get it working on an iPhone, but at the moment it's currently on Android. It'd be a full full mapping software. So basically, you, you uh when you're at the pond, you choose your home location, set your home location, find where you want to fish. You can just press a button, and save a location, multiple locations. Don't know a limit at the moment. I don't think there is a limit. Uh, and and then you press a button. It was it will activate the autopilot, which you then flick the switch here. That would then send the boat off to the waypoint. You sit there. If you want to come back, oh, sorry. you would uh, put flick the switch, which will return to home. I haven't got the, the voice programmed up for that, but yeah, I will have soon. Um, you've got uh, sp speed timers and that on here, as you can see. Five seconds has been out of four to set. And you can reset that at the top switch. Timer one reset. You've got a signal strength here, which um, goes down. There's a warning at 45, but you. You won't get that unless you're at least probably 500 kilometres away. Um, not 500 kilometres away, 500 um, metres away. I've, I mean, I've flown it on my glider up to a, a mile away and it's it's um, it's still been fine. Um, you've got a loiter mode. Normal which, mode, loiter. Which will hold the bait boat out there. It won't lose position. It stays exactly where it's put. It won't drift off course. Um, normal normal mode. mode overrides it all again. Um, you've got various different functions and things you can add onto this and add extra stuff onto it, doing other lights, um, winches, cameras, you name it, it's all on there. No telemetry. You get warnings no obviously if there's no telemetry critical. and there's no, no, no battery. Goodbye, these are tight lines. One battery and it's done about six trips and that's a little 1.6 1600 milliamp um three cell lipo so imagine how many trips you get out there with six thousand lipo I can, I can take it down to 10.5 that's in half throttle